What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you some Pokemon Showdown. This will be the first Pokemon Showdown battle that I present to you guys. The format's going to be a bit rough. I'm not going to have everything finalized in terms of how the thing is going to look. But I wanted to give you guys the most basic thing possible. And you know, as we progress, I'll add more and more to it. But it's better that I introduce this now than wait until I have all the details and specifications of how I'm going to present it finalized because then there won't be any content. But anyways, we got a Pokemon Showdown battle. We're going to start it right now. And um, oh shit, I put the sound on. Okay, we gotta stop that. Stop the stop, 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 stop. Oh, reset, reset. Okay. <laughs> I did not remember to do the sound off. Okay, um replay with music off, yeah. And um play. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So, um, anyways, now I got an incredible battle today. One that was extremely intense, you know, and considering the fact that it's Pokemon Showdown, it, I guess it kind of doesn't have the same intensity as Wi-Fi battles, but it was extremely intense. It's using the same team that I've been using my Wi-Fi battles. Anyways, this is where I test the team a lot, but <clears throat> anyway, so now I already missed a lot of turns there, but my guy has his Zapdos in there, and now at this point with this Cavalier, I was feeling like the heat wave was coming. So of course, me thinking logically, the best move to make was to go into Houndoom, even though the Thunder was kind of scary. But I figured more than likely he would go for the heat wave since you know it's Cavalier quad weakness to fire, but he actually goes for the defog, which sucks, but I am able to take out his Zapdos, which is great as well, even though I don't get the heat wave with the flash fire boost. But anyways, but now that the stealth rocks are gone from both sides of the field and the Zapdos is dead, I have a great chance to put up some stealthies on my own, but knowing that his Charizard X is going to be in here, I just go into Furfro, and I was alright with letting him set up with that Dragon Dance, because you know, at the end of the day here, Furfro can take anything that Charizard X wants to put out there. I go for a Thunder Wave trying to hit the Charizard, but maybe it was better to go for the Toxic instead since I knew for a fact that I'd be able to set up my Stealth Rocks and he goes for his own Toxic, Metagross comes in, is able to absorb it, I set up my Stealth Rocks and since Zapdos is gone, those are going to stay on the field. Now knowing that the Earthquake is going to be with this guy wants to attack me with, going to Superior who will take that really well, because Fable comes in and now, just to try to see what I can knock off here, I think I'm going to go for the knockoff. Yeah, because I mean at the end of the day here, oh no, oh no, yeah, yeah, obviously Fable likes to set up, I mean I know these things like to carry, um, they like to carry Cosmic Power and then use Door Power. I don't like those sets, so I just decided to hit him with the taunt to make sure that nothing funny happens. Going to Metagross, scare him out with the steel move, and um, even though I know for a fact that he probably isn't going to stay in, I figured that going for the Zen Headbutt would probably be the best choice here rather than the Bullet Punch because it'll still be solid damage. Quagsire comes in, the second Zen Headbutt misses, gives him the chance to recover, which is going to be bad because I'm going to have to deal with this Quagsire later on. It's going to be a problem later on, trust me. Anyways, now of course Superior is going to come in, and thank God this guy did not have Skull because that would have been a chance for him to get some burns on people. Thankfully he didn't. He just has the raw power earthquake, which is fine with me because my guys can take that all day. Thank God Superior has leftovers. Go for the taunt on Scallopede. Or well, rather, I think I went for the taunt on the... Well, someone before, because I wouldn't go for a taunt on Scallopede, I think, right now. I'll go for the glare. But anyways, so now at this point, he goes in there with his Quagsire, Furfro's in there to take the hit from the Scallopede. I'm gonna go for the Roar here, try to get the Charizard out, and the Charizard does actually come back in, but now that the Charizard is in, I figure the best way to get this guy killed is to Roar again, get some mother, get some more entry hazard damage on somebody else. So I do go for that Roar again, Gengar comes in, and now here's where I play really foolishly with Gengar, because I'm thinking, oh, okay, I'll be able to hit, leave at least one hit. No, I am not. He kills me with the Sludge Wave. Furfro cannot take special hits. Go in there with Houndoom now, because I figured I can just outspeed the Gengar kill it with a dark pulse since mega houndoom is faster but um anyways i go for the heat wave in that turn hit the quagsire who comes in quaggy's gonna take the heat wave no problem i'm in there with superior now clefable comes back in damn this is really fast paced fucking go for the leaf storm clefable is gonna take it relatively well but not 100 percent i feel like i can take him out with the leaf storm at max power and maybe if he's like at 20 percent health or something go for the taunt to make sure no setup happens while he predicts that goes into his gengar at this point now i feel the bullet punch will be able to take him out it is not shadow ball kills metagross i I just thought the bill punch would be able to kill him because it's choice banded. But anyways, now here I figured it's the best time to sweep. Go for the shell smash. I'm easily going to be able to sweep him now because I'll be able to outspeed his Gengar with the plus two speed. No, his Gengar is choice scarf. Choice scarf Gengar. He kills the goddamn. He kills Shanty. Now, of course, if I had known that he was choice scarf, I wouldn't have even gone into Shanty. I would have gone right into goddamn Houndoom or well, Lucifer. I, I call him by that nickname. So anyways, now that I know that he's choice scarf, I'll be able to go into Lucifer, easily hit him with the Dark Pulse, finish him off. But now he goes into his Cafebo go for the calm mind i go into a scavalier threaten the cafe out since you don't want to take no steel go for the iron head the safe move didn't want to overpredict anything, and plus there was nothing else I could really do there what was I going to do toxic the cafe anyways goes into quagsire now and of course 
it's not a good move for me staying in there. And of course I got the Lee Storm with Superior, but I wanted to toxic this guy first. Or at least get it, you see, I wanted to get make sure that this guy has no residual recovery because you know, if this Quagsire is left with his leftovers, it's going to negate the damage of the stealth box easily. So I gotta make sure I knocked off his leftovers. I go for another knockoff because the knockoff was doing more damage than the Iron Head on the Quagsire. It was. Iron Head was doing nothing. Look, it does 12% to this guy. The knockoff is doing a little bit more, I feel, or around the same amount. Anyways, now knowing that this guy probably isn't going to be able to stop me from setting up, I just go for the sword dances here to try to get off as much damage as possible with the Iron Head. But look, Iron Head only does 11% with a sword dance? No thanks. Going to my um, superior now. I don't care how much HP that this Quagsire is at because that Leaf Storm is going to be able to inc it's going to be able to decimate this guy. I don't really care. Quagsire can recover as much as he wants because at the end of the day, he ain't going to take that Leaf Storm even if it is at negative two. Because I think this is a defensive Quagsire. Go for the Leaf Storm again. Now here's the questionable move in the game. Should I have stayed in and gone for the other Leaf Storm or just switch out like I did? Because I was scared. Is that second Leaf Storm going to be able to kill him? And if I lose Superior, I won't have anything to kill the Quagsire because all I got left is Mega Houndoom, I got a Scavalier, and I got Superior. The only person able to kill Quagsire here is Superior. So I didn't want to risk that second Leaf Storm on the Clefable even though it was at such low health because it was at negative two. I do lose a Scavalier here now, but it's totally fine because Mega Houndoom will be able to come in. I was hoping the Dark Pulse would kill, but because he's defensive, the Quagsire is going to go down. Now the Clefable comes in. I hit him with the Sludge Bomb. I'm going to do a lot of damage, but not take him out yet. But he has no choice but to go for the Moon Blast at this point because the, the Moonlight wouldn't heal him enough. Go for the Leaf Storm here. Going to be able to take out the Clefable. God damn, that battle was fast paced. My fucking throat hurts. And that's the end of the game. This shit was crazy. I can't believe it. It was all insane. What the hell's going on here?